Hey guys, today is Michael's birthday, and I just want to say condolences to the friends and family of the late great King of Pop. And I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, which is why I wanted to release this video on his birthday, where I will be listing my top eight Michael Jackson films, both short and feature length films. Got Michael on my shirt right here, got a support. <laughs> um, I was gonna do this introduction in front of the beach, to be honest. I live next to the beach. I was gonna do it there because, you know, Michael loved the earth. He loved trying to help preserve the earth. Um, but it's foggy. You can't really see the ocean water. So I'm in my car. You know, you gotta work with what you got. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy birthday, Michael. Rest in peace. Tell Whitney we said hi. And without further ado, here are my top eight king of pop films number eight is captain eo now i never made it to disneyland to watch this short film i watched it on youtube and i enjoyed it granted it's cheesy and the story isn't much but you know it's a disneyland attraction and targeted towards kids so i'm not going to knock points off for that but overall i liked it i feel like it fit what michael was about Number seven is The Wiz. The Wiz is basically the black version of The Wizard of Oz, to be honest. Um, I only watched this because of Michael, because the film overall to me was okay. There were things I liked, things I didn't like. I'm not going to go into a full review of it. It was okay. And I especially enjoyed Michael as the Scarecrow. Number six, This Is It. This Is It came in at number six because I classify it as a documentary. It is a feature length film documentary-ish movie, but it's really good and I loved it. The only thing I didn't like is that it's what could have been if the tragedy didn't happen and he was able to go on tour. Nothing wrong with the documentary itself. Like I said, I loved it. I just hate that it never happened. Number five is Speed Demon. Now, I love the whole animation, cartoony aspect of the video. It was goofy, it was fun, and I loved the dance-off between Michael and his rabbit costume at the end. I feel like that's a classic dance-off. Number four is Bad. This was like a coming-of-age video for Michael and also a turning point in his career. He showed off a harder edge look and sound than his previous two albums, Off the Wall and Thriller, the album didn't do as well as he wanted it to, but it's definitely one of my top albums. You know, he wanted to get away from that whole innocent, childlike image of his previous two albums. So that's another reason why I like Bad and say that this was a coming of age video for him because he wanted to show his more aggressive side. Number three is Smooth Criminal. Honestly, what's not to love about this video between the outfits, the dance routine, and that lean, though, perfect. That, I mean, that's all I got to say about Smooth Criminal. It's just perfect. Even the story's good. I have nothing else to say about that. Just, just perfection. Number two is Thriller. Probably the most popular short film of his besides Smooth Criminal and or Bad. I'm a fan of the horror genre, so I especially love this short film. It definitely delivers on the creepy factor. The actress, Ola Ray. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, just tell me in the comments, like break it down for me if I didn't. I believe I said it right though. She did an amazing job. The ending was just icing on the cake. I loved it. And number one for me is Ghost. I love that short film. I would like to think of Ghost as the unofficial sequel to Thriller. I mean, I love how it's simple, but effective. And I'm gonna give you guys my fan fiction on how this could be connected to Thriller. I feel like the maestro who Michael plays in The Ghost, his younger version, there's basically him in high school in Thriller. Later, he becomes the maestro as he gets older. He moves around from city to city. Like after Thriller ended, he moved around from city to city till he settled outside a small town. And that's where the video picks up with him and the mayor and yeah, I might be crazy. It's not official. It's just something that popped into my head that might sound good. I don't know. Let me know what you think. The two cameos 
that I want to mention that he has in feature length films. The first one is in Men in Black 2. Um, he's Agent M, and he's talking to the leader of the MIB over basically FaceTiming him because he's in Antarctica. And uh, I, I really love that little cameo. It was definitely a surprise. The second cameo he does is Back to the Future in the cafe scene, like right before the hoverboard, for those of you who probably don't remember, but I'm pretty sure you do. I didn't know it was like actually him at first, but that was a nice little cameo. And notable mentions. I just wanted to throw this in here real quick. These are not short films. They're music videos, but music videos that I like. Liberian Girls, Scream, and Remember the Time. Those are my top, probably top three music videos of his. That's not like a short film. And if you haven't watched any of these, I highly recommend them. If you're a Michael Jackson fan, nine times out of 10, you've seen all of these. They're all rewatchable, which is another great quality. But um, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment your favorite Michael Jackson videos, how you would rank them. And remember, keep it mad real out there.